Good morning. I just thought I'd do a very quick video update on the Comms Question Time show that's coming up because I've got, I think it's nine panelists now who are already um, in. And um, I've had so many people to reach out to and manage to actually I had to write my own system um, on my laptop, which is now managing everyone. I'm going to blur those names out just so you can't see them, but um, it's all, uh, it's allowing me to pick all the dates that everyone's in and uh, get everyone confirmed and all sorted. Basically, the comms question time show, um, if you are watching this for the first time or don't know about the project, is it's designed to basically point out the value of comms and PR today to the business world. And what we're going to do is we're going to take questions from businesses or organizations and then actually work out strategies to try and help them tackle those things during the show. There's two kind of elements from a, a PR or comms perspective, if I've not spoken to you about this before, and that is one is... The, obviously, it gives you a plug if you're taking part in the panel. But secondly, also, it promotes the value of comms and PR today, which certainly, according to quite a few recent reports, seems to be the way that marketing is going to have to go in future with the rise of AI and with the fact that society is breaking up into more and more disparate groups as well. Anyway, more on this over the coming week. Uh, if you know someone that would like to take part in this show as a panelist or with a question, make sure they email me or they can direct message me on LinkedIn or they can email me at info at the public relations podcast.com and I'll have some more clips I'll put out on LinkedIn and Twitter and places like that over the next week or so uh, to get some of those questions in as well. But I'll give you an update, another update soon.